Double Wing Draw is coming this Friday on 19th August 2022 with a legendary QQ9 skin and a really cool character skin with a bunch of other rewards as well. But the question is, is it worth buying? So let's have a look. Somebody like me. Welcome everyone, my name is Ali. We are really close to get 35k subscribers on our channel. And if you guys are not subscribed, then excuse me, hello, what are you doing? Alright ladies and gentlemen, so the character that is coming in this draw is named as Kestrel, and this is a female skin, and let me tell you dude, this is a simp worthy skin. <laughs> I should stop doing YouTube. All jokes aside, in my opinion, this is a very detailed and really good looking skin. The character got the grey hair, cute looking face, olive green jacket, tight trousers, high top boots, and on the back we can see the sword. So yeah, in my opinion, the overall look is really good. She's thick, okay? Wh what do you want to hear more? Orts to unlock Kestrel is 1.25%, so I hope you get lucky. Now, moving on to the main reward of this lucky draw, which is going to be legendary QQ9 skin called the Albatros. First of all, let me tell you guys, this lucky draw has crystal, lucid, and very bright kind of theme, and that's what we exactly see in this legendary skin. Now, don't get me wrong, in my opinion, the skin looks okay. It's not my favorite skin of QQ9, because you guys know, we already have three more legendary skins of QQ9, and this is the fourth one. So, it looks are okay. We can see the crystal inside the gun, the mag is animated, the muzzle is animated and we can see the effects are coming out from the sides but here's the good part I love the iron side of this skin we have the single center point of the iron side which is always a plus point when it comes to the iron sides so in my opinion the best looking QK9 legendary skin is still the Sigrun but when it comes to the iron side this skin got the best iron side but baby <laughs> hold on let me show you guys the kill effect of this bad boy <laughs> holy sheesh First of all, we could exactly see the theme of the crystal and lucid going on. But did you guys see that sword animation? It was like traditional Japanese speed sword kind of animation. It's absolutely gorgeous. So in my opinion, this is the best kill effect out of any QK9 legendary skin. So you might not be getting the best looks, but you're getting the best iron side and the kill effect. So the odds to unlock the main reward is always the lowest. You guys are getting 0.08% chances to unlock this skin. I mean, <laughs> good luck. Moving on, we will also be getting M13 skin called the Lucid. Oh, damn is I was right about the theme of this lucky draw. But anyways, we can see the green, blue, and purplish kind of liquid crystal moving inside the skin. The skin itself is black, but we can see the silver accent on certain areas of the skin. The odds to get M13 are gonna be 4%, so I think many of you guys will be able to unlock it. <laughs> Moving on, this lucky draw has to offer a legendary calling card where we can see the character itself is holding a crystal. And this calling card actually reminds me of a game called Clash of Clans. I don't know if you guys have ever played it, but <laughs> I don't want to go off topic, but yeah, it's a really cool calling card. The odds are 29%, so this is what you guys will be getting the most on your first try. Moving on, we have a charm called the Castrol Chibi. <laughs> but yeah, it's the character itself holding the gun itself from the lucky draw, but it's more of a cartoonish and anime version. So if you guys are a pimp, then you might want to get it. 10% <laughs> odds, not bad. You will be getting it quite often. Then we have the backpack skin called the Lucid. We can see the same animation, but now this time we can see the white and black text to it. 5.5% odds, um, okay for this skin? Moving ahead on the plate, we got an emote and it's called Run and Stop. It's more of a funny side emote. In my opinion, it's okay. We have a lot of better emotes over there, but for 6.5% odds, you can unlock this emote. Then we have the antelope skin, which looks kind of the basic, but we have a bit of the theme touch to it. We can see the golden accent. It's alright. Last but not the least, we got the EMP skin called the Lucid with the similar animation, but in my opinion, the animation looks absolutely gorgeous on this EMP skin. The R's are 28%, which are the second highest, so if you guys unlock it, I think it's not a bad choice. And now back to our question, is it worth buying it? If you guys are going for the character, then 100%. The character is really good and it's going to be pretty unique character. 
Go for it if you guys are going for a QQ9. There are a few conditions. Is QQ9 your favorite weapon? If yes, then go for it because it has really good R inside, which is going to help you a ton while using QQ9. And it looks kind of different than any other QQ9 skin. If you are going just for the skin to flex, then in my opinion, there are better QQ9 skins out there. M13 is a really good weapon. Then we have an okay looking emote. Then we got the Cranberry skin. So all in all, it's a very balanced look. It's right. There's nothing too crazy going on. And it's not bad as well. So I told you guys all the pros and cons. And now it's all up to you. Let me know in the comment section. Would you guys buy it for what it's giving you on that price? All right, guys. So this is it from this video. So this was a new series to our channel where you guys should buy the Lucky Draws or not. If you guys want to see more of this video, let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, peace, love, and unity. My name's Ali, and I'm signing out.